Hello, my name is Carl with Dynamic Ratings, and today we're going to show you how to terminate and land the coax cables for the DM series sensors. To do this, you will need a wire stripper, a coax cable stripper, a crimper for the terminals you'll be using, a dental pick to separate the braid on the coax, your terminals and heat shrink tubing, and labels. Also, you will need a heat gun to shrink the tubing down. Begin by selecting your first cable and strip back about two inches of the outer jacket of the coax. Separate the center conductor from the shield. It helps if you birdcage the braid first and begin separating the wires by using the pick to pull the wires out of the braid. After you get your wires separated and straightened, twist them together to prepare them to crimp the terminal onto. Then trim the ends of your wires so they're equal length. Measure, cut, and place a piece of heat shrink tube over the shield wire to help hold it together. After putting your heat shrink over the wire, using your heat gun, shrink the end down. Be careful not to burn yourself while doing this. After shrinking down the tubing over the shield, grab another piece of tubing and place that so it's overlapping the end of the outer jacket of the cable. Get it in place and then shrink that down. Next, strip back the center conductor of the coax so you have enough to crimp your ferrule or terminal onto. Then crimp on your terminal. You want to select the proper size terminal for the conductor you're using. The center conductor generally uses a 18 to 22 pink or red terminal. Make sure you can see the wire through the sight hole at the end of your terminal. The shield conductor is a little bit thicker and that uses a 14 16 size terminal or a blue terminal. Then repeat the same for the shield. Before you move on to your next cable, label the one that you've just terminated. Now I'll be showing you where to land the sensors. It is important to make sure the bushing sensors or BAU sensors are landed on a shorting type terminal. The Rogowski coils get landed on a standard DIN rail terminal. For the bushing sensor we land it on a shorting block. For easiest installation you can remove the shorting block to insert the wires. Using a flathead screwdriver, tighten the screw down and repeat with the second terminal. It's a good idea to give these a tug test when you're done tightening the screws. Then plug your terminal into your block and your sensor is connected. For the Rogosi coils, identify the terminals you need to land on, insert the end Tighten the screw and give it a tug test. After all connections for a sensor type are complete, retest the sensors through the terminal blocks to ensure good connections and the sensors are still functioning. Thank you for watching this video. This was Carl with Dynamic Ratings. Please like and subscribe for more videos.